On a circular path of radius 6 meters, the boy starts from a point A on the circumference and walks along chord AB of length 3 meters. Uh, so radius is 6. He starts at A, goes to B. This is 3 meters, half the radius. He then walks along chord BC of length 2 meters to reach point C. Point B lies on the minor arc AC. That is, this is A, this is B. C is not in between. C is further away. And so this is 6, 6, 6. The distance between point C from point A, we need to find AC. AB is 3, BC is 2. Find AC. That's what our question boils down to. Find so. Now all of these questions straight away. We know that we can figure out some elements of this triangle. Triangle AOB, we have three sides. Triangle BOC, we have three sides. We should be able to find whatever we want to find. In triangle AOC is where it will crack open. And so we know these two. So if we know this angle, we are through. When to find AC, we know OA equal to OC equal to 6. If we find angle AOC, then we are through. And so how do we find angle AOC? We know we can find this angle. We know we can find this angle. Specifically, we don't need to find the angle. We can find cos of this angle. We can find cos of this angle. Then we can find cos of the whole angle. Plug in cos rule in triangle AOC to find AC. Wonderful. That's the approach we are taking. So let's go step by step. Let's call this phi. Let's call this alpha. 6, 6, 6, 3. Sorry, this is 6, 3 and 2. And so we can find cos phi. Cos phi is 6 square plus 6 square minus 3 square by 2 into 6 into 6. And so we are plugging in the formula b square plus c square minus a square by 2bc is cos a. We can find cos alpha. So 6 square plus 6 square minus 2 square by 2 into 6 into 6. And so cos phi 6 square plus 6 square is 72 minus 9 63 by 72 which is 7 by 8. Cos alpha 72 minus 4, 68 by 72, which is 17 by 18. Brilliant. So far, so good. So we found cos theta and cos phi and cos alpha. No, but we need to find cos of phi plus alpha, which is cos phi cos alpha minus sin phi sin alpha. So we need to find sin phi and sin alpha. Right? Sin phi, we use the idea that sin of phi square root of 1 minus cos square phi. Same idea here. So we'll find sine phi and sine alpha. Cos phi is 7 by 8. Right. Sine phi is square root of 1 minus 49 by 64, which is root 15 by 8. Cos alpha is 17 by 18. Sine alpha is square root of 1 minus 289 by 324. This is this is square root of 324 minus 289 is 35 by 18. Square root of 324 is 18. So we have got cos phi sin phi cos alpha sin alpha. Cos of phi plus alpha. Yes, we can simplify this. We can get an expression for this and we can substitute it here. And then we can find AC based on that. And so how do we find this? It is cos phi cos alpha 7 by 8 into root 15 by sorry 7 by 8 into 17 by 18 minus root 15 by 8 into root 35 by 18. This is cos of phi plus alpha. Okay. Brilliant. We know from our cos rule that this is equal to cos of phi plus alpha is 6 square plus 6 square 
minus AC square by 2 into 6 into 6. 72 minus AC square by 72. Wonderful. This is equal to whatever we simplified first. 7 by 8 into 17 by 18 minus root 15 by 8 into root 35 by 18. And so, so 1 by 8 into 18, 7 into 17, 119 minus root 15 into root 35. Then extract a 5 outside 3 into 7, 29 or 1 by 8 into 18 into 119 minus 5 root 21 equals 72 minus AC square by 72. 72 by 18 is 4. This is 2. Or 144 minus 2 AC square is 119 minus 5 root 21. So we can simplify this. We will get 2 AC square equals 25 plus 5 root 21. 25 plus 5 root 21. Or AC square is half of 25 plus 5 root 21. 1 fourth of 50 plus 10 root 21. Why am I writing it like that? So that we can reimagine this in terms of a underlying some some surge square, some expression square. And so what might that expression be? Finally, we go from choices. So we'll have to, how do we simplify this? We can say this is root A plus root B, the whole square. This A plus B plus 2 root AB. So, so A plus B is 50. 2 root AB is 10 root 21. And so our A plus B is 50. 2 root AB means A into B is 2 root AB is 10 root 21. A root AB is 5 root 21. AB is 21 into 25. With this, we can simplify this or we can go from answer choices and know that, that this root 15 plus root 35 by 2 fits the bill perfectly. Root 15 square is 15. Root 35 square is 35. 15 plus 35 is 50. 2 into root 15 into root 35 is 10 root 21. Or the distance is half of root 15 plus root 35. We plug in cos rule thrice over for this triangle for this triangle and for the overall triangle for for this triangle sorry OAC triangle OAB triangle OBC triangle OAC cos rule cos rule cos rule get through very very tough question